There are a few ways to access the VMware Workstation Pro BIOS settings. The most efficient way to do it is to use the Power On to Firmware option. Once you open your VMware Workstation Pro, select your virtual machine, right click, go to the Power Options, and in here we will select the Power On to Firmware. Once you do that, it will directly power onto the Phoenix BIOS setup utility. And now you can go ahead and configure whatever you would like to configure. The other option is to press F2 key right after you power on a virtual machine. This is the most widely known method, but you have to be quick with your mouse and keyboard inputs in order for you to achieve that particular operation. One of the reasons for that is that once you turn on your virtual machine, basically you need to switch your keyboard and mouse input right away before the pause screen of your virtual machine disappears, which is a little bit of a harder thing to do because we only have a few seconds to do that. I can show you what I mean by that. So if I boot up this machine, if I power on this virtual machine, I had to press F2 so that I will get into this particular screen. Because if I late couple of minutes or not minutes, few seconds, I won't end up in this screen. Instead, I will end up with the operating system that is installed on this virtual machine. I can show you that again. So if I go back in here and if I shut this thing down, and then if I boot back up here and press here and try to press F2 now, see it didn't work because I was too late. So very few seconds we have during that post screen where we can actually press F2 to get into the bio screen. So that's why this is a little, little bit of a difficult task to do, but that is another way you can get into the bio screen on your VMware workstation. You can also change the behavior of your virtual machine by editing the .vmx file. .vmx file contain parameters used by your VMware workstation pro to decide how your virtual machine behave. To do that, first shut down your virtual machine, then go and locate where your virtual machine is keeping its files. So if you go to right click and properties, go to options, you can check where the files are located. So mine is located under the virtual machines folder in the C drive. Open that location, open the virtual machines folder, and in here, we will update this file called .vmx file. So I'm gonna right click and gonna go with the open with and notepad. So if you don't see this notepad option, what you can do, you can select the .vmx file, right click, open with, choose another app, and you can select the notepad and click once, and that will open that file for you. So this is what a .vmx file look like. It has a bunch of parameters used by your VMware Workstation Pro. So we can do a couple of things here. One of the things we can do is we can force this virtual machine to boot in to the firmware as soon as it boot up uh, just once. So instead of it doing every time, we can do it for just once. To do that, what we need to do, we need to add this particular line of code. So it's going to be bios.forcestartup once equal to true. I will leave this in the description of this video. So once you have entered this part in here, we will save the .vmx file and close it. And now if we go back to our virtual machine and boot it up, what's going to happen, it will automatically boot up into our Phoenix BIOS setup utility. Why? Because we entered that particular code in there. So I'm going to shut this machine down again because there's another way you can make this thing work by editing that same .vmx file. So if you go back to our virtual machine folder, right click and we're going to open with notepad. This time what we will do is instead of booting up into the firmware right away, we're going to make the post screen delay change from default value to something else. So to do that, 
we need to enter the code right here, uh, which is bios.bootdelay. And we can put up to 10,000 milliseconds, in other words, 10 seconds maximum to delay that post screen from going away. So I'm gonna put 10,000 just to show it to you. So it's 10, one, two, three. So what that's going to do is gonna give us a 10 second delay. So you can put a maximum up to 10,000 milliseconds. So I, I put 10,000 milliseconds here and then I will save my .vmx file again. And this time when I go back to my virtual machine and boot it up, you will see now it has that 10 second timer right here. So during this time, you have the ability to press F2 and that will get me to firmware. So again, because we have edited that .vmx file, every single time uh, this gets uh, get, get rebooted or restart, it'll go to this 10 second timer that is more than enough time for you to press F2. So that's another way that you can get into your firmware of a virtual machine on VMware Workstation Pro. And if you have any questions or concerns about any of the things that we have covered today, you are more than welcome to reach out to me. This demo is done using Workstation 16 Pro, but the steps are the same for other versions, including the Workstation 17 Pro. If you like these types of tips and tricks, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Please check other tutorials posted on my channel if you are interested in these type of technical tips. Until next time, thank you and have a nice day.